What's going on, nerds? I am the Jaeger Bomb, and welcome back to Dreadx Collection 2. We are just steaming along on these games, um, kind of looking for something to happen in the uh, in the house here. I don't know if we have to wait until all the games are complete until that happens, but uh, you know, some some a little new, like throw a wrench in it. That'd be kind of neat, I think. But we're gonna try out a new game today and uh, and uh, see how it goes. So. So get ready for that right after the intro. The Yeager Bomb. Gotta start the game again, motherfucker. I mean, we got. There's a lot of empty cases around here. Uh, let's try it over here on this side. Another late night by Secret Cow Level. You're up late playing video games and messing around on the internet, and things take a dark turn. Why yes, that that makes sense. So let's go ahead and do that then. Uh huh. Uh, comic pages. Really... <laughs> Was this road always four lanes, or did it used to be three? I don't know. I think it was always four. It's funny how you might know something like that, but not really know it. I couldn't tell if the mountains used to always be there. I could have sworn I used to drive at night because I didn't want the sunset to blind me. But wouldn't the mountains have covered that? The way the hills would roll forever, little buildings shutting up at random peaks and valleys. Was it always that way? Alright. So still not really too sure about what's going on with the uh, comic there. Because, uh... Ugh, squirrel stapler. Oh my god. Alright. So we're gonna play another late night. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Oh, it's not... It's not letting me full screen it. This is... This is an issue. Um... Hello, players. Subject 371. Another late night is a narrative test project by Secret Cow Level. Dreadx Collection, Volume 2. All right, programming, writing, cool. Th yeah, special thanks to Ted, sexy PNG. Ooh, I love. Okay. New message received. Um. Can we? Can we not? Okay, let's look at the new message. Ha ha! Are you there? I'm worried about you. Rebecca signed off at 2.54 a.m. Okay. Wow. Thank you. Very nice. I, I really need... So, it looks like this might be how we're going to do this because it's, uh... It's, uh not allowing me to do it any other way so <laughs> all right we're gonna we're gonna roll with it all right so my computer oh new message we've already seen this haha -ha, are you there i'm worried about you signed off okay cool so can we we can't type to her okay cool that's that's fine uh one new article in your feed Four people reported missing. Video game developers suspected to be involved. Uh, Rainer disappeared on the 12th, leaving his wallet and keys in his apartment. Police believe disappearances are linked. He was an up-and-coming independent developer who has published multiple titles, including Don't Go Out and the CCG Doom, Doom Trooper. He specialized in 2D games with dark subject matter. See, this is, this is uh, a plug, is what that is. The game has been removed from stores, but has been pirated and can be downloaded online. Multiple sites describe the game as manipulative, and at least one person has reported that it might be recruiting people, although how or for what reason is not clear. The publisher, Dread XP, issued a statement saying they were deeply saddened by Reynard's disappearance. Hey. You know this game is really screwed up. I don't remember how we got here either. Don't worry, I won't leave you. Okay. <laughs> um, 
I don't know, man. I'm I'm gonna just kind of look around, I guess. Oh, look at that! That's the cutest fucking thing. <clears throat> See, I I just wanna like look at these. Look at his little hat. Okay. <laughs> That's dope. <clears throat> so I'm guessing the developer has rats. I don't know. Okay, I'm glad we looked at I'm glad we looked at all the pictures. Untitled? Oh, we just looked at those. Well, I'm gonna keep looking. The fuck? I don't, I don't know, I don't know if I'm wasting time here. <clears throat> I hate Twitter. JFC. What's up, butter cookies? I searched murder hornets and there were all these people talking about how they're not real and how the media is trying to scare us. Well, the media is trying to scare us, but the not real shit is cray. It's clickbait, but they are real. I just want to know what's happening. I don't mean like if they're killing people or anything, what's going on with them? What is going on? I don't know. Because there was a threat about me manipulating you and I don't care. All these tweets about Asian bugs and trying to murder us. Really, everyone? Uh... Oh my God! Oh, it's a it's a chat. Okay. So it's gonna. Oh, is it stop? Look at that dog. Here's my dog sitting on a stool. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Well, good. I'm glad we did that. Repairing internet, please wait. My interwebs. Internet repair. You got the internet straightened up, what a relief. Hey, are you okay? I mean, it's okay if you're not. It's as if the world was screwed up. Do you want to talk about it? I'm here to listen, it's like my job, right? And I really care, let's talk about what's bothering you. Which is worse for you? Uh, climate change is not real. No, nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. School shootings are bad. I mean, are we talking about just me? I guess really the only thing I care about is the pandemic. It's not that big a deal, right? It's like the flu. Young people don't get that sick, but it's weird. All the people in masks and stuff, not knowing what's going to happen or how long until you can see people again. You're gonna be okay. Sucks for some people, and really, you know it's a big deal. That's a big deal. Not a lot you can do about it. It's going to really screw up the economy. What about other diseases like that other swine flu? What the fuck? This shit's like taking a fucking economy. School debt. What if you end up without a job? What if, what if the whole economy blows up? Rich people will be fine. Good news. Fewer people died of heart attacks during the Great Depression because heart attacks are a lifestyle disease. When you can't get enough food like meat and stuff, you don't get heart attacks and diabetes. So you may be living in a dumpster, but your cholesterol will be great. You could do it. Live homeless, scrounge food, do whatever you needed to do, right? This is so fucking... I'd watch your back. If you're going to die anyway, do you want to die early while things are still pretty good? Or suffer through it all and die anyway? Shit got political. You guys know I don't do that shit. Triple Duke. No, it's Triple Duke. Torple Duke. His game was cool. Super retro. Yo, ASL. ASL, I haven't heard that in a long time. I didn't play it. Bummer. Is that article working for you? Back up yet? Nope, not me. Nope, everyone. Oh, shit. Link removed by moderator. I don't want to see that shit. At Invader. Uh, you and me either. What are we looking at? Four, four missing in online video game cult. <clears throat> we already, we already looked at this. Oh, the game is a psychological thriller exploring dark themes. Rumors are that it's also a recruiting tool for a cult-like group that uses sites that 
experts call Chan boards. These sites, like the now defunct 4chan and 8chan, are the frontier of social media, places where there are no laws and posters can be found, can find others who share views which are not mainstream. These sites can also be home to white supremacists and other hate groups and to groups which would not be tolerated on Facebook or Instagram. Users claim that there are also places where anonymity allows real freedom of expression and that people can share suppressed information. Sites are often places where fringe and extreme groups recruit new members. Even the president during a recent press conference was quoted as saying we must stop the glorification of violence in our society. This includes the gruesome and grisly video games that are now commonplace. It is too easy today for troubled youth to surround themselves with a culture that celebrates violence. We must stop or substantially reduce this. And it has no has to begin immediately. Wanna hear a story? I played the game. How did it go, you ask? I know you ask because I'm you. I'm the part of yourself that sometimes you don't listen to. It's okay, not as good as some of the other games I've played. So get this, I'm playing and I get a text on my phone. It's from my friend and he's also playing the game. You don't wanna hear this, you sure? My friend asked me how far I am in the game. He says he's not getting anywhere. Then he says, oh wait, just keep going, trust me. I trust you? At first it feels like I'm, I, I keep getting stuck. I almost quit, then I get it. Get what? I don't care. What the crap is this game? What is this article? Uh, get what? Just keep playing. You'll get there. You're not a quitter, are you? Are you? How many things did you say you were going to do and you started but you never finished? Exercise? Are you saving enough money? Did you complete your work? Is your room a mess? What does it say about you? How often do you know you should do something but you watch TV or play a game like this? But right now your job is to finish this game, right? Because you believe in follow through. You don't just quit. I'm not a quitter. My friend and I texted a couple of times. He says, keep going. I text him that something really weird just happened. He doesn't answer. It's late. I call him. A woman picks up. I don't know her. Friend of your friend? No, I mean, she doesn't know my friend. She's the game developer's wife, and she's upset because it's the middle of the night. She asks how I got this number. She asks if I'm a friend of Justin's. She starts to cry. She hangs up on me. The fuck? Do you get it yet? What is this game about anyway? What the hell is going on? Why are you talking to me? Who the hell are you? Um... Who the hell are you? I'm you. Ha. Had you. No, you didn't. I know I'm fucked up. This game is about finding yourself, about opening your eyes. You can't lie to other people, but you can't lie to you. You can lie to other people, but you can't lie to yourself. What have you done? Are there parts of yourself that you've blocked? Yes? How would you know? What if I could show you things that you did that you don't remember? Show me. Have you ever tried hypnosis? Yeah, sure. Go on. I already said yes. Being hypnotized is one of the best experiences ever. I was in a trance. I could feel and see and hear, but I just didn't care. It was better than anything. This is weird. Have you ever heard voices? No, wait. Hear me out. Have you ever been half asleep or something and you thought you heard someone's voice? Maybe someone like your grandmother? Or have you ever been somewhere and thought you heard someone call your name? Our brains are strange. That's how it starts. Does this game hypnotize people? Does this game hypnotize people? People can only be hypnotized if they want to be. Some people are more susceptible to hypnosis if the bottom of the iris of your eye doesn't go all the way to your bottom eyelid. If you got a little white crescent or white under it, people who are people who do are more susceptible to hypnosis. Really? They are more likely to have ecstatic religious experiences. Have you ever had something like that? Dot, dot, dot. You know, repression works right up until it doesn't. Then you might do something you don't intend to do. You might break. You might snap. <laughs> Whoa, you probably, it's been days, dude. I just heard, what have you done? Are you okay? Are you there? What the fuck? What do I, what do I do? Oh. Oh, okay. I guess I'm gonna... 
Hey, hey. You stop that. What is going on? Hey, hey. Do I, okay, I can move them. What is, oh, okay. This is the same shit. Oh wait, do I have to? <laughs> they fucking, they got me because I'm so bad at computers. Hey, let go. Let go of that. What the fuck? My kitty cat's going insane. Okay, it's almost over. Final three questions, and then it's done. Are you ready? I'm ready. Have you ever wet the bed? Yeah, when I was a kid. Have you ever hurt or felt the desire to hurt another living creature, especially bugs or animals? Um, I mean, spiders. Do you or have you ever had a strong interest in l lighting things on fire? Maybe fireworks? Pick Hell yeah! Your responses have been recorded. If necessary, based on your psychological profile, foundry agents have been dispatched to your residence. Otherwise, you will be activated when we require your skill set. Thank you for participating in our simulation. Secret cow level eight. Close window. Okay. I'm not sure what the hell. <sighs> Oh. Game developer Justin Reynard has been found. Police say that they are still investigating, but that Reynard was apparently abducted by people who believed that the game Another Late Night allowed them to connect with others who could, in the words of their manifesto, see the world as it really was. Police refused to speculate on why Reynard was abducted, but an anonymous source said that the group suspected him of withholding information. Reynard was hospitalized overnight for dehydration. He has since been released. One alleged abductor is in custody. Several others are still sought. Okay. Feel free to click around. What the fuck is going on? Any documents? Okay. Uh. Mm, clamp stationary and brine. Their eyes lining. What the fuck? Music. Well, I don't understand. Is this... Is this it? Surely this can't be it. Kitty? Videos? Wow! Double rainbow! Cool. I mean, what 
the fuck are we looking at here? I'm just kind of the fuck. Just kind of going through the pictures that we didn't go through. Wow. I mean, I don't know what else to. I don't know what else to click on here. I mean, okay. Like, did I get credit for that game? <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm really confused about that one, guys. So, um, if if I should have done something else, uh, I mean, let me know in the comment section below. Um, I'm kind of left confused. That game was not. Maybe it was just a nice little story. It was kind of interactive, and and that's really truly it. I don't know. So let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. And if you want more Dread X Collection 2, make sure you hit that deal up there. If you want to listen to YouTube overlords because they know what you want to watch, make sure you hit that deal up there. And as always, if you like what we're doing here at the Jaeger Bomb channel, subscribe, baby. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you have a great day. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe. Boom. Jaeger Bomb. See you next time.